but I have a new hot off the press announcement uh, that I want to make that's going to affect upstate New York, particularly rural New York, throughout. I just got off the phone with Secretary Raimondo. I am proud to announce, this is the first time it's been announced, I am proud to announce that because of the bipartisan infrastructure law, New York is going to receive a record-setting $670 million in federal funding to expand broadband and high-speed internet and close the digital divide. Desperately need that money. This is the largest single investment in broadband history in New York. It's game-changing. For too long, residents across New York State from Buffalo to Rochester to Albany to rural areas in particular, like here where we're standing in Genesee County, have lacked sufficient access to fast, reliable, affordable high-speed internet. The pandemic laid bare many things, one of which is that broadband is no longer a luxury. Just like electricity became an essential, uh, 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 essential in the, just like electricity was essential for everyone in the 20th century, broadband is for the 21st century. You need it everywhere. Your kids need it to go to school. Our local hospitals need it to do telemedicine. Individuals need it for their small businesses. Farmers need it so they can keep up with the latest weather and other reports uh, that they so desperately need. And we have had too many people who either don't have broadband or when it becomes too expensive, can't afford broadband. This will affect both. It will affect our rural areas and our outer suburban areas that either don't have any broadband or get really junky broadband that doesn't work, but it will also affect our city areas where people can't afford broadband and it puts their kids and everybody else at a disadvantage. The $670 million will go to the state. They will have to submit a plan as to where they are putting uh, the money for the broadband, and that has to be approved by the Commerce uh, Department. It's, broadband is how you go to work, how you stay connected with loved ones, get an education, or even receive your health care. I fought very hard to make sure that broadband was in the bipartisan bill. It started out as the old time stuff, uh, roads, bridges, highways, rail. That's needed, and it's in the bill. But I said we also need broadband because that's part of the 21st century way of commerce. And as majority leader, I was able to insist that it be put in the bill. And I also made sure that the formula was very good for New York. And so we're getting $670 million. It will directly connect locations in New York that currently have no or weak broadband. It will also affect municipalities where the people where there are people who might be right near the wire but can't afford broadband. So for cities like Buffalo and Rochester and Syracuse and Albany and Utica and Binghamton it's important and for counties like Genesee and you name it, counties across Steuben and Delaware and uh, Clinton, counties that are rural counties across the country, uh, across the state, it will make a huge difference. Um, uh, today's a great day for New York. I'm proud to deliver. I, I went around the state promising I would deliver broadband. We got a few grants. Nearby Livingston County got an initial grant so they could be covered. But the rest of the state uh, will now be covered uh, from one end to the other. Will this be enough money to cover everybody? Pretty close. If there won't, there's still some extra money there that's not part of these grants that we can get. But it should mean that everyone, just like now, just about everybody has access to electricity. Within a few years, everybody will have access to good, high-speed broadband. So that's a good announcement.